Today I'm showing you a three season, 16 pound base weight, lightweight backpacking gear loadout in my custom 38 liter Waymark gear frameless backpack. Here on these side pockets, which are a Lycra mesh pocket, in this side I've got my water filtration, easy access to it. I've got my Hydro Blue VersaFlow hollow fiber water filter. Paired with that, the Knock Vecto two liter water bag. So this is everything for my water filtration. On this side of the pack, I've got a few different items. I've got wipes for uh, doing my business. I've got the poop trowel, and then I've got Picardin from Sawyer because it's now bug season. So I need to take care of making sure I don't get bit and eaten up. Here in the front mesh pocket, I've got my rain jacket. This is the Ortovox Civetta rain jacket. Love this thing. Bear rope, this is from Light AF, and I've got a Metolius full strength uh, lightweight carabiner inside of there for hanging the bear bag. Then I've got a mini ground sheet, but this is just a uh, ground sheet that I sewed myself and uh, is pretty small. And then last thing in the front pocket is my long handle titanium spoon. This is from Optimus, polished end and everything. That is everything for the front. Then on each side pocket, I've got smart water bottles because where I'm going, plenty of water available. I'm just carrying these 23 ounce smart water bottles as opposed to the full liter. So that saves me a little bit of weight, even though I might have to fill up my water a little bit more often. Now getting into the top of the pack here, right on top, I've got my food bag. This is the little bear bag from Light AF. It's a roll top style Dyneema food bag. I really enjoyed this so far. Next on top is my uh, first aid kit. Gotta have that. And then a little bit different and new for me is a different style of cook pot and cook system. If you recognize the orange bag, you know that that's a Tokes titanium bag, but I've got this 550 milliliter uh, bowl that has the handles. And this is what I'm using with the solo stove light wood burning stove. Then I've got this uh, little piece of tin foil to use as a lid on top. Here is the Solo Stove Light. This is a wood burning stove that I've been testing out, trying out for the last little bit. Packs up pretty tiny, very efficient type of cooking system. Yes, it's a little bit heavier and bulkier than I would normally carry with a canister stove, but I like the idea of being able to change things up and uh, cook with an open fire as opposed to always using a canister stove. In this tiny little bag is a fire kit. I've got everything from Esbit Cube to Fire Steel to cotton balls wrapped in, or soaked in uh, Vaseline and then matches and a little tiny piece of fat wood. Moving on into the center of the pack, I've got my little ditty bag. This is also a roll top bag from Light AF and I've got several different items in here we'll pull out. I've got my satellite device, my bivy stick for communicating with my wife. I've got a pair of hand warmers, which I use inside my sleeping bag in case I do get a little bit colder. And I like to do this for three season use. Then I've got my headlamp, the Black Diamond Iota. Always carry that. Something I'm not carrying this time is a lantern, which I normally do carry a lantern. But next item is uh, my knife. And this is the Benchmade Hidden Canyon uh, fixed blade knife. A little bit different than I normally carry, but I just picked this up recently. Super excited about that. And then the last thing in this bag is the Anchor PowerCore Light uh, 10,000 milliamp battery bank. Now we're getting into some clothing items and layering. So what I've got is a new down, a lightweight down jacket from First Light. This is the Brooks down sweater. Super cool uh, type of cut and fit on this that I think is a little bit better because it doesn't have like the helmet hood and all of that. And it's got a lower cut bottom that covers uh, when you're like leaning over and stuff so that when you're sitting down, you don't have cold breeze coming up your butt crack and all that. So, and then I've got a lightweight fleece from QU. Yes, it is camo and it's been soaked in permethrin. This is just a lightweight fleece that is lighter than a lot of the other base layer, midweight layer type of layers that I have been wearing 
like from Eider or from Rab. So this has all of like my smaller clothing items. I've also got my pillow. This is the Eros pillow. Uh, it's the down large. This is a new pillow from Sea to Summit. And then I've got a little microfiber towel, my black rock gear down beanie, a pair of extra underwear. Those are the ex officio give and goes, sleeping socks, my smart wool thermal bottoms, and a lightweight pair of gloves from QU. These are just a merino wool uh, type of glove that will be nice on for those chilly nights. And that's it for the zipper bag. Now moving into sleep system and shelter. What sleeping pad I'm using is the XPED Sinmat HL. This is a sleeping pad that has an R value of about five, so it's gonna be really good for three season use, get down into those freezing temperatures at night and to be able to stay warm. And it's about uh, 20 ounces in weight. Then the shelter that I'm using is the Lux Hiking Gear Hex Peak. This is a two person teepee shelter that I also have an inner mesh tent for. This is a like bug bivy uh, type of inner tent that goes on the inside. So I've got a bathtub floor with the outer tent and uh, bug protection and then a bunch of space for uh, gear storage as well. And that's about two and a half uh, pounds for that shelter right there. And it uses a single trekking pole to be able to pitch. So I'm using uh, because I need 137 centimeters of height for this particular shelter. I've got my trifold alloy uh, aluminum pole from Perea Outdoor Products. Then I got my stakes for the shelter. And then a couple more items in here. My sleeping bag. This is the uh, XPED Ultra Light uh, 32 degree down sleeping bag. 32 degree comfort rating. And uh, I've been using this sleeping bag for the last several trips that I've been going on and I am super pleased and psyched about what this sleeping bag is. So review coming on this one here very soon because I'm excited about it. And the last thing inside of the pack is my trusty DIY sit pad Tyvek wrapped eighth inch foam ground sheet that is super multi-use. I put it under the pad for added warmth. I sit on it. That is a 16 pound backpacking lightweight uh, three season backpacking gear loadout. So curious to know your thoughts and if you would change anything or what you like about it. So thanks for watching guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and I hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next video.